The Country Wife by William Witchley at Minerva Theatre Chichester, directed by Jonathan Mumby. Some of London's high-class women want sex, but not with their unattractive, sometimes abusive husbands. A young man wants sex without commitment, so targets married women. How to get the two together while keeping up the image of respectability? The answer? He pretends to be impotent. The Country Wife was first performed in 1675, but many of its elements could form the plot of a play for today, which may be why director Jonathan Mumby has shifted the action to modern London. Except, the shock caused by the open and judgment-free discussion of sex, particularly by women when it was first performed, is different to the shock it causes today. The problem with updating the setting to modern London is not that people's behaviour has changed, it's that attitudes have changed. And men patronising or abusing women doesn't sit well today as a subject for a jolly romp. And I can't help feeling it would have been better to leave it in the context of its own time. A lot of the verbal humour hasn't aged well either, but the cast throw themselves into it, especially uh, Scott Kareem as uh, Sparkish, a would-be one of the lads who thinks he's much wittier than he is, and Susanna Fielding, hilarious as the naive wife of the title. The laughter quota is helped by a lot of French fast style going in and out of doors. It was an enjoyable enough evening, but I can't see this production lingering in my memory. I give The Country Wife at Chichester three stars. Well, that's my one-minute review, but keep watching for more about The Country Wife at Chichester Festival Theatre. If you find these reviews interesting or useful, please subscribe and listen to my podcast, Theatre News Weekly, with the latest news on shows opening and what's happening in the world of theatre. So, more about The Country Wife in Chichester. Because the director set the play in what appears to be today's London in the time of the hashtag MeToo movement, it's inevitable that we're going to question the sexist, controlling, even abusive men more than we would if it was simply of its time. A production set in the modern day can still be funny, but it would need to be darker than this one in order to offer some comment, to give us some acknowledgement that we are looking at these people through 21st century eyes. Instead, the production remains in carry-on mode, except for a hint that commitment-free sex may not be all it's cracked up to be. Also, by placing it in a modern day setting, the plot struggles to work. I mean, today's well-off women, if they want to cuckold their husbands, are usually independent in a financially and in lifestyle to be able to do it. Men or women who want sex without commitment only have to visit Ashley Madison or swipe on Tinder. Although I'm dubious about modernising the setting, I did like Sutra Gilmore's black and white set and costumes, uh, the kind of exaggerating outfits you wouldn't normally see outside of a designer's catwalk, contrast cleverly with the naive countrywoman's colourful everyday clothes. Although the country wife seems like a celebration of sexual liberation, two of the characters are driven by romantic love, suggesting that Witchley didn't think all men and women were thinking only of sex. So what did the other reviewers think about The Country Wife at Chichester? Well, The Telegraph, handing out four stars, certainly disagreed with me. It feels newly scandalous, said Dominic Cavendish. It laughs in the face of prudish finger waggers and went on to praise its infectious comic vitality. The Guardian's three-star review was more in tune with my reaction. It chooses to put this 1675 comedy in the present day with decidedly mixed results, said Michael Billington. The assumption is that London life hasn't changed much in nearly three and a half centuries, but I wonder how true that is. And what's on stage giving it three stars also thought it was an ill-fitting transportation. But despite that said, the play works, and the reviewer explained it's, and I'm quoting, partly because Witchley's text remains supremely funny, but mainly because the excellent cast bring out the best of it, relishing the wordplay and double entendre. And I do agree with that. The Times was the most damning, giving it a mere two stars. It said, This is an exhausting play, almost three hours of extreme wordiness punctuated with French fast levels of door slamming that usually denotes people having sex. And naturally, because it's a restoration comedy, foreplay involves talking non-stop for ten minutes, more or less in riddles, before running behind said door and slamming it. The Country Wife is performing at Chichester's Minerva Theatre until the 7th of July. By the way, I chose The Country Wife as one of my five plays that shocked British theatre, which you'll find on my YouTube channel, One Minute Theatre Reviews.
And just a reminder to try listening to my podcast, Theatre News Weekly. If you like what you've seen here, why not subscribe to One Minute Theatre Reviews on YouTube by clicking on the icon in the bottom left of the screen.